welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT now, and I'm like the explosive one. And we got our special guest, the big man, Lil Easy. Hey, what yes, up, sir? Yeah, yeah. Let's um, crack into another one. So, I'm going to tell you a little story. Okay. And then I want you to guess what happens. All right, I'm interested. So, there was a man who back in 2020 was on Family Feud with his wife and his parents. Was he from Nantucket? Sure. He, his the, the dip- once was a man from Nantucket. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. a child. Go ahead. I mean, it was so long, he could, yeah. Um, so, during the game show... I think it was Steve Harvey asked him, what's your biggest mistake you made at your wedding? He goes, honey, I love you, but saying I do. So he so he says <laughs> saying I do was his biggest mistake. <laughs> he goes, not my mistake, not my mistake. I love my wife. Ha, ha, ha. And he's like, I'm going to get in trouble for that one, aren't I? So with that being said. Number one answer. What happened this year? Number one answer. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what's that? <laughs> Oh, did you? Oh, All right, no. TNT, you guess. What happened this year? Yeah, so that happened in 2020. What What is what happened in 2023 with those people? They celebrated their second year anniversary happily, and they're probably expecting a new baby. Easy, what happened? So, if I remember correctly, he's accused of murdering his wife now. Bruh. No, I think he got. I think he got arrested. I think he went to jail for it. Bruh. Yeah, yeah, he killed her. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not an accusation. No, I think he got he got arrested. He's like, I don't know. He's not in jail yet, but he got arrested for murdering his wife. And it's just three years ago he joked about how, ha ha, biggest mistake of my life is saying I do. So there's no baby. Oh, there's no trial yet. So we don't. Okay, so. But I mean, but I think it's a pretty cut and dry. Like they figured it. Uh, I mean, you always, well, you, you know, they always go after the, the significant other first. Yeah, yeah, especially when you're talking about how much you hate marrying your wife. Wait, listen. <laughs> listen, come on. Yeah. Look at Easy coming prepared for the podcast. He knows the stories. <laughs> he was just breaking balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he broke her goddamn neck, it seems like. <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah, poor lady. <laughs> poor poor lady indeed. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. I, like, why the hell? Okay, listen. Well, they, you know what? Come on. Look, they say that the murder numbers for women, 100%, I mean, not 100% of the time, but the majority of women murders are by their significant others. Well, right, but here's the thing. Here's what I've never understood. And we've all seen those, like, like uh, those discovery ID shows. Like, it's like, oh, you're cheating on your wife. I know the answer. Let's kill my wife. Bro, what? isn't it just? What have I seen this? Have you never seen those like unsolved no. mysteries where like or whatever? It's oh, like you know, okay. it's all those stories about whatever. And I'm like, why is murdering the wife always the answer? Like, isn't <laughs> just divorcing her so you can stay with the woman? Like, isn't that better? Like, no. is it that important that she doesn't get half of your stuff that you just figure you'll kill her? Because they're gonna figure it out. Yeah, it, I mean, it's yeah, it's yeah. 2023. It's not 1975. Like, if you murder someone, yeah, yeah, if you murder someone, you're going to get caught nowadays. Yes, you have to be, you have to be smarter than forensics. Which is almost impossible. I mean, you know. Almost eh. impossible. It's still possible. But, like, I've never, like, out of all those shows, my my ex-wife used to watch that channel all the time, and I would be like. What channel is that? Discovery ID. It's all shows. It's all shows. I've never heard of Discovery ID. It's all shows like that. It's, like, shows about, like. Scorned lovers and da, 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 whatever, but I, it's so funny. Like if I was ever like it married again, which won't happen. <laughs> oh God! And fits right in with the story. What happened to the first wife? <laughs> she, what happened to the first wife, she's, Jonas? She's alive and well. Um, uh-huh. So like, if I was ever cheating on my wife, and and my second lady said to me, "You know what we should do?" And I'd be like, "What, honey? We should kill your wife." And that would be the last time I'd ever see that person. If so, if I was dating someone and they suggested that I murdered somebody, especially my goddamn wife, I would just be done. That would be it. Like the fact that you even brought up murdering a person would be enough for me to walk away. Right, exactly. If you think you should kill my wife, why you why would stop you from killing me down the road if we got away with it? Like. Especially because you know you're the side piece and I told you you're the side piece and now you want to be the real piece and now you think killing my wife is the way to become my piece. 
I mean, look, man, if you're compliant with it, then there's a good chance that you are just as much of a psychopath as the person who brought it up. I mean, that's why they all end up in jail, right? Because, like, normal people don't do that shit. It's that perfect concoction of two freaking insane people who decided to kill another person. It happens. Not, oh, it absolutely not often, does. but it happens enough. It's, it is freaking wild. I had something I was going to say, and I totally forgot. But Easy, you know, easy you ever kill anybody? <laughs> you ever kill a man? You ever feel his breath leave his oh, body? Oh, wow. <laughs> no. no. No, me neither. Never never, never had that. Never done that. Not, not your thing? Oh, the call of the void calls to me so often. Yeah. Yeah. Never, never like at work or anything, but like, you know, I'll be walking in a grocery store and sometimes I'll be like, I gotta snap that chick snack. Wow, this lady's blocking the aisle. I'm just gonna take her out. I'm joking. 100%. I know. But I gotta be careful because. Oh. Yeah, I got some rage. I don't have the rage, but what. You what? used to have the rage, bruh. Okay. Do you think you, about like crashing your car into him or something? Oh, 100%. You know how many times I wanted to get someone to pit maneuver? You have. Okay. You just literally said, I don't have the rage. And your mm-hmm. rage used to be way worse than my rage ever was. Yeah. I used to have some rage. Like, but like, I've yeah. gotten out and knocked on people's windows before. I've definitely got out and like, you know, roll your window down. <laughs> you make a little hand motion. <laughs> You ever you can never make the like the 2023 hand motion for rolling a window down is like pressing a button. Like what do you do? You go up and point down in their window. It's funny. No, you gotta do the roll you motion. You still do that. Yeah. Like you still tell that. people that and everyone gets it. They know what you're doing. Like that. Like the roll down the window and like hang up the phone. You don't hang up a phone. You nobody's hung up a phone. Like, we don't see yeah. it at, like, oh, yeah. It's the hanging it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can't slam the. Cl- oh. That's why you need the clamshell phone so you can slam Dude, it shut. There was nothing better than slamming the goddamn phone down when you when that was the thing and you were yeah. pissing someone. You're like, I brought it da da right down on that. And rodeo. Now you're just like, I'm gonna aggressively hit this screen. A rotary yeah. console. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. I've never cracked a cell phone screen. Me neither. I've had someone survive some stupid stuff, like hopping on the top of a six foot ladder, plus my what? It was a waist height. Yeah. Waist fall on from you know nine foot in the air. No problem. No problems. One time, it fell out my my hand up the top of the stairs. That all the way down. Oh. All the way down. No problem. Okay, I thought that was the one. Fell off my bench, my work bench, and the work bed. Three foot. Onto a padded floor, shattered to where I had to go get a new phone the same day because it was that broken. Yeah, I had a friend like he was like he he met us at a bar and he was like I dropped my phone when I got out of the car and the screen was like. They'll survive and fall off the ladder or something somehow all the time. Mm-hmm. It just depends how they hit the ground. Yeah. If if you don't have a case and it hits the corner, it's done. The the phone will shatter. It, but if you have a case and it hits the corner, you're probably good. Yep. yep. Though, and I have the most cheap. I get the cheap little, like, just rubber around the edge. And that thing works great. You don't need an otter box. You don't need, like, a goddamn, like, put an egg in a hammock so you can throw it off those high school bleachers and it not break sort of thing. What, what kind of phone case do you have? I have the cheap little, like, silicon clear case, too. Okay. But it, it works for the most part. It really does. Unless, for, especially with my phone with the curved edges, they land screen down. That's always dangerous. Okay. Oh. Here, here's what I'm gonna say. And my new phone doesn't have this. That curved screen shit was the worst invention they it ever really fucking came was. up with. It's so worse. It's in your case, and you're like, it. I'm just trying to make my YouTube video go forward, and you can't <laughs> hit the goddamn screen. Without a case, the edges are so sensitive. You're trying to do something. Yep. Like I'm trying to type, and the phone's so big, I don't reach to the left side. I'm hitting the letter P with the, like, yeah. It's like, it's yeah. Like, yeah, but I got the, like, I finally upgraded my phone. I had, like, a Samsung Galaxy 8. It was, like, nine years old. And I got a, a S22 or whatever, and they, and they got rid of the beveled screen. And I'm like, yeah. thank fucking Jesus that yeah. you did that, because that, that was annoying. That ish was totally bad. I remember I knew somebody who got the, the first one that came out with those, and I was like, that. Like, ish. what's the point? 
What like yeah, it's like none. it's like it's an infinity pool for your phone. None. Look, I don't understand what it did. What was the point of it? You just like, oh, you have a beveled screen. Yeah. You can watch a waterfall video. Yeah, yeah maybe uh, we can fit more advertisements on the screen now. That's what it was. That's they can fit more advertisements on the screen. I don't know, man. So, but I, don't I, know. I don't know. I'm interested in the collapsible screens, the foldable joints, when they finally get those so that they don't break in like a month. They're, they're actually pretty good now. The, mm. I mean, 100%. once you once you start full, I mean, how many, it, how much are people on their phone every day? How much you're gonna open and close that screen? That hinge is gonna break, dude. The it's hinge. never gonna. Well, I think that they make those phones now mm -hmm. where they have the screen on the outside as well, and that's supposed to be. In oh, like you, and then when you really want to watch something, you open it up. Or you, if you have to multitask, then you open it. It's not your every time use. Like I don't. Attack. What the fuck is the point? I know, right. Like, it, like, just buy a tablet if you want a bigger screen. <laughs> <laughs> like, the thing to me is those phones are more expensive than the ones with the brand new high speed processors, all that stuff. Really? You can get the new, like, S23 Ultra or whatever mm. for less than you can get the Z Fold. Yeah, I don't know, man. Really? I'd rather have the processing power than. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, right. Everyone watches stuff on their cell phone have, and has for years. Like, it's, it's not like there are people that don't even have TVs anymore, they just watch everything on their phone. I don't need a TV. Yeah, you do. You play video games. I mean, yeah, I need it for that. I can play that on my phone, too. You gonna play Elden Ring on your phone? I will play Slice and Dice, which is the Elden Ring of phone games. <laughs> Fair. All right. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazydown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT oh, yeah. and the big man Lil Easy. You here? All right. We out. <laughs>